put a door's contact switch in to switch on the light in the van when this door opens. We've already got one on that side. But there's a no down here. Um, I had to make a hole here uh, because there wasn't one caught in the pillar for the contact switch. And this is the switch we're going to be putting in. So the idea is that if it grounds, it grounds the light. Um, you just connect the ground wire up to the from this switch up to this light up here. We've already got wired in. We've got the one coming from the other side. There's power coming to it from the fuse box over there. Um, so that one's already wired in, and then we just need to run another wire up to one of the other ground terminals on this to switch the light on when the door comes open. Um, yeah, so battery's all disconnected, no electricity's running, it's all nice and safe. Um, now the first, the, the hardest part of this job is actually rooting the wires nicely up the B pillar on the van. Um, there's a channel in here, but it's it's nigh on impossible to thread a wire through that because it just gets bunched up inside so what you have to do is oh the best method i've found anyway i used this on the other side there when i did it um is get a piece of coat hanger like this and stretch it out and then try and find that there's a so there's pre-made channels for these in the, in the body of the van so when this van would have had switches, I don't know what happened to them. They were probably all pulled out over its 40 some year lifespan. But um, originally, the wires would have run up here through channels along there. You can't really see them, it's difficult to get in there. But uh, then along here and into the light switch, so the wires are all neat and put away. Um, we need to do that here because we're probably going to get a headliner installed here at some point. Uh, so everything has to be out of the way. So yeah, let's, uh, let's move on with this. Uh, I've got my trusty bicycle light, uh, 1000 lumen Fenix light, doing double duty here. Uh, illuminating proceedings. So let's try and find this hole. It's very hard to see it. Um, Nope. I haven't got it. Um, let's try this. A mirror here. Uh, that we can use just to see what we're doing. Uh, remember that everything is backwards in the mirror. gloves on while you're doing this because you can easily cut your hands up with all the nice sharp bits of metal and so we're going to be doing some shoving here to keep this thing down so just keep going now it usually hits up yeah it's got a it's got a block there so you just need to keep shoving it and we might be lucky here we might get it all the way down it can be difficult um, Hopefully, you know, it hasn't come out. So if you come out down here, you can't really see this, but I'm just wiggling my big finger around in there, just trying to find it. So you just essentially keep keep pushing it down until it comes out there. You might take a few goes, put it back and forth a few times. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Very annoying. There are probably simpler ways to do this, but if anyone 
anyone does have any, I'd love to know. I have no idea how they would have treaded these in the factory because it's, I don't think they did it this way. And they would have been on an assembly line, so, oh, there would have been time pressure, so there wouldn't be enough time for this kind of messing. Ah, yeah, I can feel it. Okay, the coat hanger's through. Then right, finally, we've got it out. So, we've got it to there. It's very awkward, but we managed to get it out that, that end, which is ideal. That's where we want the the wire to go so I'm just gonna pull pull it out some more just to give us a good bit of space to work with okay so that's good now next thing get a length of wire and you want to make sure this is extremely tight onto this because we don't want to lose this in the way up because it's going to be dragging on the inside and it's going to want to come off. So we'll just wrap it around here, wrap it around a few times to get it good and tight. Then find our duct tape. Yes. All praise to the holy duct tape. There. Good bit of strength in it. Yeah, there's, there's nothing worse than pulling this through and then the goddamn wire is falling off on the way up. Let's, yeah. Let's have to start again. So we'll do one wrap down here. amount of pulling on this as possible because that's what makes it come off but to say that you're going to start pulling it so and up it goes Okay, I see wire. Excellent. We're through. Okay. Now, we just need to take all this crap off here. <laughs> and yeah, that'll take a while. So, right, we're just gonna strip the end of the wire here and put a terminal connector on it. Um, I'm going to do this now just to stop the wire from accidentally getting pulled through while I'm messing around up here. Um, just, yeah, we don't want, to, want that to happen. Yeah, if you don't have one of these, get one. They're, <laughs> they are brilliant. It saves you messing around with these things. Um, you know, get a nice clean strip on the wire and um, the other advantage of these these crimper tools as well is um, they they also have a closure um, a closure tool at the top so you slip you slip your spade connector on there just 
together. Twist it a bit. Get good, good contact on the inside. Yeah, so just, just get it in there. Doesn't have to go too far in. And then we use uh, the terminal closer. that up. Okay. Still a bit slippy. Another. Yeah. That's good. Good contact there. Now, get our switch out again. And just plop this on here. Um, <clears throat> now, what these what these switches do is uh, they basically they basically cause like a ground um, on the on the circuit on the light. So when the doors open, like they push back against this plastic spray um, this plastic button here when the door is closed. Sorry and uh, it keeps the, the contact open so then when you open the door like this is how all door switches work but uh, I don't know about modern cars but um, they probably have a 5,000 pound sensor in them or 5,000 euro sensor in them or something um, but this one is just literally like door opens then then the contact closes and then that's the the circuit is uh, circuits complete uh, so we'll just slip the whole Spade connector on here. Yeah, good. Good. good and tight. Yeah. 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 Take a screw out here because we don't use that um, box. Yeah, these switches also can actually be used. This is the same switch that you use uh, on a for the brake light as well, uh, the handbrake warning light on the dashboard. If this one was wired up, uh, maybe that'll be the next thing. I do. have another one of these for for to do the the brake light as well. Right, so that goes in there. So you can see there's a little strike area on the door where it like hits that little recessed uh, bit there where it closes in on the door. All right, okay, we have the crusty coat hanger now down into the channel in the roof so I'm going to just get it to come out. Ah. Ah. Okay. Get out. Same old duct tape trick again. Right, we've got 
got it in and I'm just going to pull the wire through again. Same deal as down below. Yeah, cool. Exit on, okay. Pull this lot off if we can. <laughs> cool, right. So we've got everything in place here now. Uh, the wire threaded through now, we got the hanger off. So I'm just going to plop another spade connector on here. And again, usually just do a little, just a little twist on the wire just to stop it bunching up inside. Through there and just use the little red terminal closer. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so this one, other one's in the way. <clears throat> Reason. Let's get it out of the way. that on there. Now I'll just do this other one. It's dangling here. Yeah, just need to widen this, the jaws of this up a bit because it is for some reason the connector on the light is quite narrow. Let's do a bit of trial and error process here but these situations. Oh, still not going on. Okay, yeah, that's nice and snug. <laughs> it's just... Let's do it live! No, oh, no, we can't. We need to pull this guy up first. Just in him out of the way. Tool again. Let's put a wire twist. I'm 
grab these in the middle and closing them up. Uh, yeah, okay, so we got those two on there. And uh, now we just need to go and reconnect the battery and test that everything works. Okay, now let's put the battery back on. Spark there. Okay, success. Door switch is working. On, off, on, off. Let's screw the door switch in first and then we'll do a proper test. Yeah, that's good. Right, sure. And it does. Yay.